Hi. So this sequence is just about some calf stretches we might do with our hands on the wall. Quite nice about the hands on the wall is it starts to also give us some stability through the shoulder girdle. So I've got three variations of the foot. So I've got parallel, I've got wide, and I've got narrow. So we might think about setting up our feet on railway lines. So I'm just going to set up facing wall. And I want you to think about being my normal width on parallel railway lines, so my heels are roughly in line with the ball and socket of my hips. I'm just going to take my mat away. Now, what I'm going to do is get my hands on the wall. I've got my foot alignment, and I'm going to step back. So I step back with the right foot, and it's the right heel, the right calf that's going to get stretched. So I lower the heel down. I then allow that heel to rise and lower that heel down. My chest is travelling up and down. My belt buckle is travelling up and down. So I've got some strength work and some stretch work going on. You could choose just to hold the stretch there as well. Good. Now, I'm going to bring my feet back to their railway line, but then I'm going to take this foot wider and then slide it back. What I'm looking for is that if I take that foot wider, I just didn't shift my hips across as well. So the other way of doing it is take the foot back and then step and now go into that sequence. So now I've got a hip abduction. I didn't shift the hips. That's it. That's it. Again, trying to make sure my foot's are nicely aligned. Good. So I'm going up and down. The other version is the foot behind. Again, find the way that you set up correctly. And now I've got the hip in some adduction going in and my stretch feels different on the calf. So again, I could just hold that stretch or I could just travel up and down with the heel working that stretch sequence. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the other side. So again, I'm setting up my nice parallel railway lines. As I step back, I'm still on that parallel row line. I don't want the heel falling in or out. Front foot needs to be organised. Lower the heel down slowly and bring back up. So as I do this work, I'm also getting some stability going through my shoulder girdle. Okay, so from here, I'm going to step out wide. Try and not let the hips swing across just changes the angle of the ankle. So I'm trying to make sure that foot hasn't turned. I'm trying to make sure it's still on a railway line. Then I'm going to go into my singular railway line. Again, making sure that foot is well organised. So that's a sequence we can do for stretching and strengthening the calves with our hands on the wall.